Hello everyone, let's do it all again. Today I'm going to be going through the dating process with Haley, who is currently listed as an ex on my social screen and is also the sister of my current wife Emily to see if there's any different reaction there. But that's not the only person I'm going to be wooing in this video. I'm going to be going for Harvey as well because, well, doctor. This should be pretty straightforward. Haley likes coconuts, I've got a few of those, they're easy to find in the desert. Harvey likes coffee, so we already have that in common. I'm also going to be doing some stuff with some trees over here, mostly just ignore that, it's set up for another video down the road. Anyways, first thing on the agenda. I'm over these kids, they're already really annoying me, so one prismatic shard later and off they go. Goodbye baby one, goodbye baby two. Not sure how Emily feels about that. So let's see how she's coping with the loss of her children. She gives me a duck feather. Am I being rewarded for getting rid of the children? And I give it right back to her and she likes it. Interesting. Okay, she doesn't seem to care that the children are gone. Maybe we are a match after all. She's also a psychopath killer. Anyways, we'll go start our gift giving. Whoops. By the way, you can teleport your horse with the warp totem. I'm actually going to make a video on that somewhere down the road too because it's kind of fun. Now that it's a little bit late in the day, hopefully both Harvey and Haley are both in their spots where they usually are. Haley doesn't go very far, and I'm not really sure I haven't stalked Harvey very much yet. He's currently here, so we'll go around and give him some coffee. We're after a good start. This is my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. Well, I read the wiki, so... Turns out this poor doctor is struggling to make ends meet. Luckily I know a rich farmer guy who likes to date everyone, so he's in luck try and get patients from the neighboring towns. Well, I can also help you with that. I'm pretty good at hurting things. And we'll see the blonde idiot. I'm really interested to see how she reacts as we work back up through the hearts if we can at all. She's not here today. I'm not sure where she is. I give up. I'll find her in the morning. But since I'm up past 10 a.m. for once, I'm going to go to the desert to pick up some more coconuts for the idiot Haley. One advantage to fresh coconuts at this point is they're all going to be iridium quality so Haley will like them a little bit more and once again fall in love with me that much faster. Okay, Emily really doesn't seem to notice the children are gone, so lucky me. First off, let's just talk to Haley, see how she feels these days. I'll be fine on my own, that's a typical answer, thanks for the memories. Well, one purple quality coconut for Dum Dum. I don't want your gift. She seemed a little bit mad about it. She did not move up in the hearts. We'll give her another one tomorrow and one the next day. If she doesn't proceed to move up the hearts, we'll have to erase her memories. And gift number two for Dr. Harvey. Favorite thing, same answer as always. We'll give him a little talk. We'll see a few over-the-counter medicines at the clinic, blah blah blah. Okay, so moving along here. Neither of them are at any hearts yet, so we'll just keep on going until something happens. Okay, so looking at the social screen, I give Haley a gift yesterday. I tried to. I guess it doesn't count as a gift. So I'm assuming she just won't accept gifts and I can't move her up the heart scale. But that's not going to stop me from trying for now, just in case she does have a reaction. Of course, we'll have a nice comparison on this one because as soon as Harvey gets to one heart, if Haley does not, then I know it has no effect on her. At least until I erase her memories. Another try with Haley. Not going to waste the good coconuts on her this time. Doesn't want my gifts. Same reaction as yesterday. Harvey is now up to one heart and Haley has not moved at all. She is not taking any gifts from me so I'm on my way to erase her memories so I can start the whole process again. All it costs, 30,000 gold. It'll be like we never were married or broke up. Just like real life, all it takes, $30,000. Now she's just listed as single Haley. No remarkable relationship whatsoever. Simple stupid Haley, and she's about to get a coconut. And while we're at it, apparently we're going to have a date with Leah. She knew I'd be passing through here today. She's also a stalker. Put together a surprise. A lovely picnic. Vegetable medley with my special spice blend. I'm assuming that's the magic mushroom she's all about. And a fresh salad from greens foraged right there in the forest. So dandelions and onions. It's a winning combination in my books. Um, just wanted to say thank you for helping me get one step closer to becoming a real artist. And a lovely kiss. Well, 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 what have we here? Uh, apparently I've been caught. But not by who I thought it was going to be. Whoever that is. That must be her ex. What kind of a name is Kel? Didn't you see me at the art show? I came all the way from Zuzu City to see your sculptures. And to get you to come back with me. 
Buddy, we're trying to enjoy a salad. I want things to go back to the way they were. I miss you, babe. She doesn't seem very receptive to that. Yuck, don't call me that. You never supported my art before. Now that I've had some success, you want me back. You make me sick. To be fair, I don't support her art either. I think she should be a doctor. Now we're left with two options, punch Kel in the face or try reasoning with Kel. Emily would like reasoning with Kel probably more, but it's more fun to punch Kel in the face. <laughs> oh my god. Bet you didn't see that coming. I'm full of surprises. Well, he'll make it, but that was pretty violent. Yeah, that was the point. Let's get out of here. I don't think Kel will be bothering us anymore. All things considered, I could have turned him into a dove or something really mean. Let's find a more secluded spot this time, if you know what I mean. Not sure if Haley is still in her house at 11.30am, probably not. We'll do a quick check. If not, I'll catch her in the morning because I'm way too lazy to go track her down wherever she is. I know she probably can't get very far considering she's got the mind of a goldfish, but still not going to take the time to track her down. Okay, first conversation with Haley now that her memory's erased. This town is so small it sucks, always the optimist. I have to drive like 20 miles to buy any decent clothes, yet there's no car anywhere. Maybe she just has a vivid imagination. There's her purple coconut, she very much likes those. I don't know if she's hit one heart from a single gift, I think it'll take two. Turns out I missed Haley's birthday by one day. If I had done this all yesterday, I could have got a lot of extra friendship points. About two weeks after eliminating our last children, Emily asked should we have another baby? Well, I'm gonna go with not now, seeing as we murdered the last two, I really don't see the point. It'll just save me a prismatic shard to not have any more. Turns out today is the first day that Emily even mentions her sister. She says, did you know my sister hates wild horseradish? Well, that's interesting, considering I'm currently trying to date her. I didn't know that, but I do know she loves a purple coconut. I notice Emily occasionally comes back to her old house with Haley. She says it's good to visit the old house, it's full of memories. Well, she'll be back here before she knows it. Not sure how many memories she's going to have at that point though. Harvey's three heart dialogue. Hi mumps, er, read anything interesting in the library lately? Nope, I don't think I've ever been in there. Well, I'll see you around then. Not before I give you a coffee, you won't. Grover's been wondering where you've been. Grover's a stupid name for a horse. After the gift giving today, I noticed that Haley's hearts have actually passed Harvey's simply because I'm giving her Iridium quality over regular, and that really makes a difference apparently because I was a week behind on giving Haley gifts, so it's working quite a bit faster. I would do Iridium gifts for Harvey too, but once again, I'm just too lazy. It's faster for me actually to not bother because anything Iridium quality for him would take a lot of time to get. Today on the 11th of summer is the luau at the beach and that means easy friendship points for everyone in the village so I'm obviously going to take part in that and give them a good gift. Before entering, let's look at their hearts. Haley is at 4, Harvey is at 3. This is what the luau looks like, not going to go into big detail here. What you do, simply climb the giant soup stairs and pick an item to throw in. I'm going to do a iridium truffle because it's one of the good gifts. Then, like always, find the mayor to start the event. Then, after a little dialogue, the governor himself tries the soup and based on his reaction is how many friendship points you get with everyone. And this is the best response you can get, that's the best soup I've ever tasted. That's because I added a truffle. Then the governor has a little seizure, no one seems too concerned. The mayor agrees, but that's because he's kissing the governor's ass. And that's about it. We'll check the friendship points once we're done this thing. Okay, so Harvey moved up to 4 hearts to match Haley. Haley would have moved further along. She's not quite at 5 hearts yet, but I assume she's only one gift away now. Here we have Harvey's 4 heart event. Ah, mumps, I was just about to write you a letter. How romantic. You see, my records indicate that you do for your annual checkup. This could go one of two ways. Now, now, there's no need to worry. It'll be quick and painless. Please follow me. Is getting a physical really a heart event? Okay, hold still, please. I'm very good at that. Ah. Uh, okay, you can stop. Just need to check your vitals. Pretty standard stuff. He's putting something in my face. Your pulse is high. This is where we get some options. Hmm, your pulse is high. Well, there's a few different things. I could say, are you really a doctor? That would be mean. Of course he's a doctor. I'm going with, I'm a little nervous. Seeing as there's a strange man putting things in my mouth. Oh, hospitals make you nervous, huh? Try and relax, I'm here to help. I've got to say, I do look good for a man of 70 years. 
Well, you seem very healthy, Mumps. Just make sure not to overwork yourself on that farm. I never do. Now that I've been physically violated, just one more gift to give and then on to tomorrow. Today, Harvey says something relatable. Imagine having a patient's life completely in your hands and failing to keep them alive? That's something that will haunt you forever. Not me, I kill kids for fun. Anyways, he is now up to 6 hearts and Haley is sitting at 7 so it won't be long now until we can officially start dating. After today's gift giving, Haley is all the way up to her maximum 8 hearts for now. Not going to go any further with that until Harvey catches up. Again, I'd like to point out that giving Haley the Iridium quality gifts made it that much faster. She's a full 2 hearts ahead. Probably would have been 3 hearts if I had to started giving them gifts at the same time. Alright, after today's gift, Harvey, 8 hearts, Haley, 8 hearts. So, I'm going to sleep on it to save the game and then tomorrow we start messing with people. Okay, now that everyone's at 8 hearts, we're going to start by giving Harvey flowers. There you go. You want to get more serious? I feel the same way. Oh. Now Harvey also has the dating flowers, so now I'm going to go talk to Haley and see if she is aware of this event and see if she has any reaction to it. Here she is and conveniently my wife is also here. So talking to Haley, did I ever tell you I found another one of my great grandmas that's not relevant? So okay, Haley is not aware. We'll check on my wife while she's here though. What a happy coincidence. It's good to visit the old house, it's full of memories. Well, nothing new there, she probably has to be back at my house. Our house, whatever. And she's not here yet, obviously, she's still at Haley's house, so we'll sit here and wait to see what she thinks of me dating a man. Apparently on Mondays, once Emily leaves the house, she disappears forever. It's now 11.10pm and she's still not back yet. 11.30pm and she's finally made it in, so let's see if she is aware of my flower giving to Harvey. You could have cleaned up in here a little while I was gone. Well, that's not the worst thing I did today. It's not very nice to have to wait through a bunch of junk after a hard day's work. Does she still work at the saloon? She must. It's not that messy in here. Okay, well, turns out she didn't even notice I gave Harvey the flowers, so tomorrow we'll try it with Haley and all that. As I was saying, today I'm going to give Haley the flowers to go to the dating phase with her, see if Harvey has a reaction to that. He probably won't. And then check to see if Emily has a reaction to that, because at that point I will be dating both a man and her sister. Here we go with Haley. First we'll talk to her, the weather's too horrible, blah blah blah, have some flowers. I'll accept this, thank you. And just like that, dating three people at once. Turns out Harvey is not aware of this development, he just says you have a really healthy glow. He always makes me blush. Okay, well let's go see if Emily is at home, and if she is, see if she is aware that I'm now dating her sister. Good morning, I got this gift for you. Already purified it with sage incense. Turns out she doesn't seem to know that I'm dating her sister. Might have to be a 10 heart thing, so the next step is to bring both of them up to 10 hearts. I might as well try that today because Emily is at home, at least for now, so first I will start with Harvey, give him flowers until he is up to 10 hearts, then go visit Emily again. 30 seconds later, Harvey, 10 hearts, very serious dating I'd say. Emily is still home in the baby's room, what does she have to say? I'm, I'm not bored, I'm just enjoying what we have here. Maybe she's suspicious that she doesn't have long. Okay, she really doesn't seem aware of what's going on, so let's sleep overnight, give a bunch of flowers to her sister, and try it again tomorrow, I guess. So here we go, she's at 8 hearts currently. Just like that, 20 flowers later, she's up to 10 hearts. Now hopefully Emily is still at home so I can see her reaction. Okay, I found Emily, strangely enough, sleeping in the little bed up here. We'll see what she has to say. Another beautiful day in Puppy Farm, I have faith that something good will happen today. Well, I did hit a new milestone with dating your sister, so I think it's a good day. And she doesn't even care. Not sure why that did not get a reaction out of her. Maybe you only get a reaction once, like I did with Leah and her. Okay, today I think I will give Haley a purple coconut, because that's her favorite gift, and some flowers, and then we'll see Emily. Maybe that will change something? Okay, purple coconut. Very happy about that. Flowers. Perfect. Back home. See if Emily cares. And she does not appear to be here now, she's probably on her way to Haley's, so maybe we'll head back there and talk to her. Well, she's not at Haley's, she's missing, so I don't know what to think. Okay, we're gonna take a break from Haley then and try the same thing tomorrow with Harvey and see to get some kind of reaction there, hopefully. Okay, so let's try this with Harvey. He gets a coffee because he loves coffee. 
and the dating flowers. There you go, big guy. And my blue-haired idiot is currently praying to her crystals or something, and we'll see what she said. This is my favorite spot for morning meditation. Okay, I'm starting to suspect you cannot get another reaction, or if you can, I really don't know how to do it at this point. Well, I'm done trying to figure it out. Well, Emily, we had a good run. Any new insights at this point? Love getting up early, there's a certain freshness to the air. Well, you'll be up early tomorrow, I guarantee that. And no more Emily. She is now gone and I'm free to marry or do whoever I want. Now I just need a little bit of rain for tomorrow. And then I can see the strange man on the beach. I presume I can still only buy one despite dating multiple people. 5,000 gold. One more time. Nope, just the one still. Now it's just a matter of deciding who I want to marry. Well, let's get Emily's thoughts on the matter. You broke my heart. I just can't talk to you anymore. Yeah, you can. Watch. Please let me try to heal. Isn't that what your crystals are for? And obviously Dr. Harvey is the right one to marry at this point. He accepts. Set everything up as per usual, three days away. Can't imagine what the town thinks of me at this point. And here we are, beautiful wedding ceremony as always. Whole town is here once again for my bi-annual wedding. And he brought his childish airplane collection along and some Lego. Not sure where he just went, he disappeared. That's okay, I don't need to talk to him on her wedding day anyway, I'll catch him tomorrow. We'll see what he says on our first day of married life. I'll admit the Spirit Sea Festival usually gives me intestinal pain, but I'll do my best to be brave. Well, he's a real buzzkill. Okay, I've just loaded him up on flowers like usual, which tricks them into loving me even more. He's at full hearts. So now I'm going to sleep on it and give some flowers to someone else tomorrow to see if it makes him jealous. Okay, we'll deal with Haley. Never been to the forest, you know. Well, that's fascinating. Might be interesting to explore someday. Maybe. Here's some flowers. Not sure where Harvey is at this point in the day. He might be at his little doctor's office. Nope, he's here playing with his radio. We'll see if he has anything to say about this. No air traffic this morning, honey, but it's still fun to break out the equipment now and then. I'm working on a new model plane. It's so much more relaxing here than in my old apartment. Yeah, maybe for you. I'm not so big on the company. Okay, since I can't seem to get any jealous responses these days, I'm simply going to sleep until a kid shows up. Okay, that only took four days. Should we adopt a baby? Why, yes we should. I love babies. Not sure of the time frame on an adopted baby. I don't know if they come in the mail or what, so we'll just sleep until they show up. It is the third of winter today. 14 days is the magic number once again. During the night, the adoption agency dropped off a new baby girl. Because it was nighttime, it's a very shady adoption agency. And I think we're going to name this baby Emily after my long lost love. It's so wonderful to welcome little Emily into our life. It was pretty wonderful to get the last Emily out of my life. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. It was pretty annoying that I could not get a jealous response from anyone for whatever reason. Maybe someone could help explain that to me. Anyways, hope you liked this one. Still got some fun ideas. Gonna do some more stuff with this field that I just keep getting caught up in all this relationship and marriage stuff, which has kind of been amusing. Any more fun ideas out there? Let me know. I'm always open to ideas, other games, whatever. As always, thanks for watching. How romantic. Quick, get over here. I'm staring straight at the wall, Harvey.